Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's video, I want to cover some Wargame Publisher holiday sales for 2022. This should be part one. Um, I think I'll have at least one more video. For this video, I want to cover publishers who already have holiday sales going, and that is GMT, Worthington, um, Holl Hollenspiel, and Decision Games, sort of. They have some sales going on. I don't know if they call them holiday sales, but... Um, Hopefully, though, we'll have more publishers stepping up to the plate and having more sales, in which case we will have part two, part three, who knows how many videos. So um, for this one, let's go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, we'll run through GMT, Worthington, Holland Spiel, and then Decision Games. Let's go ahead and pull up the browser and start with GMT. So GMT, for those who don't know, is doing their um, yearly sale they do, where if you have... P500, which is their pre-order system games, you get a code to um, get more. However, this year they're mixing it up and you you did not have to P500 any games to be able to get, I believe it's up to two games um, on sale. So if you, I don't think, do I have it over here? No, I don't. Hang on. Oh, I thought I had it pulled up somewhere. Oh, here it is. All right, so yeah. Here we go. All right, so basically for this year's P500 sale, um, it is for who, who is eligible. And it, only, it says just the people here. However, again, they made sure to clarify and open it up to everybody. So if you use GMT sale 2022 when you check out, you're going to get 50% off, which is a pretty big discount. So just to look at a few games, and they have a ton of games in stock right now, but just to look at a few games you can get. And by the way, this, let's see, the sale began November 15th, runs through November 21st. Okay, so it is literally, this video will be going up on the 21st. Um, so unless they backed it up, they may have um, opened it up. Let me look over here quick to the expanded sale news. Okay, so yeah, it's still, I think, only till um, Monday night. So when this video goes up, you'll have about 12 hours <laughs> to find them, um, depending on, you know, um, how long or what exact time zone um, they're in. West Coast, maybe, so maybe a little bit more than 12 hours after this video goes up. Anyway, lots of games at GMT. Let's look at a couple of them that I've covered that I personally know that I played and I've loved. And that's what I'll look at um, for all these publishers is games that I know I love, right? Not ones that necessarily I just have heard good things or not. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the games that I enjoy. So uh, Flashpoint South China Sea, excellent solitaire war game. Um, this is one of the ones that is, you know, people talk about it being inspired by, where are, I thought GMT had more pictures. Are they not? Oh, geez. I'm sorry, guys. I, I thought I looked at this and I thought I had, there was pictures to show off to you guys. But um, I do have videos, multiple videos on Flashpoint South China Sea, a recon, um, playthrough, um, etc. So let's go to Board Game Geek and then look up South China Sea quick. I just want to look through these games. It seems to at least get a look at them, you know what I mean? So South China Sea. Um, so it is a two-player strategy game, simulates complex geopolitical contests currently taking place to the United States and China in disputed region of the South China Sea. Look at some of these pictures. So it's card-driven, right? Playing cards for either the points on there for certain actions or you're playing it for the event. Um, you're trying to place cubes on this board. Doesn't sound super exciting. It's a lot of fun to play. Theme, I mean, it's a good theme for the game. I feel like the engine itself could support most themes, but as it is as a game and as a solitaire game, well done. Um, Jason Carr did the bot. Really good job with that one. So Flashpoint South China Sea, South China sea I can definitely recommend. Um, second, and this is not a solitaire game. Everyone, Every other one of these games is going to be a uh, solitaire game. But I do just want to throw this out there just because I love the system. So Great Battles of Julius Caesar Deluxe Edition recently came out. Not solitaire, but get this. Get the um, simple Great Battles of History system uh, rule book, second edition. Combine it with this. Yes, you have to play both sides, Hex and Counter. But just a fantastic, um, again, no pictures, but we're not going to go through look through this one. But just fantastic. You're going to get probably a couple dozen scenarios, tons of counters. It is, it's a beast of a game. But with the simple Great Battles of History, a lot of fun. Again, I can play both sides with it fairly easily and manage it. Um, so I definitely recommend this one. And then finally, I hesitated to recommend this one, but I'm going to put it up here. Plains Indian War. So fun game. And I talk about this in my review. Again, all these have a review. The only one that doesn't is the Great Battles of Julius Caesar, a little bit newer one. Um, at least as a re-release is new. Plains Indian Wars, I mentioned in my review. You know, the rule book as it comes with it, I can't really recommend it. 
per se. So I'm going to give this caveat that if you want, if you're just in this game, um, you're going to want to be able to download the new rule book. You're going to want to go on Board Game Geek and check some of the changes. So um, Planes Indian Wars. Let's go over there. So it's a the system um, from what am I thinking of from um, geez. Sorry, I can't, I can't think of anything right now, but it's a uh, car driven cube system. I know a couple of these, that's what they're, we're looking at, right? But it is the same system that you see with, oh, that's Academy Games, right? Some of their, the, the several games that they have. And so it's a very similar system. Let's take a look at some of these. But beautiful cards, beautiful components, mounted maps. Sorry, I'm going to show you guys on the internet here. Really nice components. Yes, there's cubes, but you get some of that history with the cards, especially. Let's see if we can see some of these cards somewhere. Someone have them. Yeah. Set it for the image. That's all you get. These are the only cards on here. Oh, man. You guys have to go watch my videos to see more on this game. But excellent, again, excellent solitaire games you can play as either side. You know, um, you know, U.S. Sort of settlers and cavalry and the friendly native tribes, or you can play as the enemy native tribes. Either way, uh, works really well. Really good game. have to rec recommend the Planes Indian Wars. So I'm just okay with a rulebook, solitaire rulebook, and regular rulebook that have some issues. For sure, they do have some issues. But like I said, I believe there's a living rulebook, and I know for sure the designer, and uh, they have um, uploaded information on Board Game Geek to correct sort of the mistakes um, from the release. So, all right, that's it for GMT. Let's head over to Worthington. So Worthington, many, many fantastic games. Um, I have some games. You can see some stuff behind me over here. Um, Flashpoint South Trying to see again. That's one that I have myself personally really like. Soviet Dawn, Tarawa, 1943. So that's what we're going to look at here. But they have many good games. It's on their games that are in stock. Um, so if you, it's a 25% off all in stock games. Clear the warehouse, end of holiday sale, guaranteed. Let's see. So I think it's all the way to the end of the year. I don't, know if, I don't see a, at least through December 18th. So anyway, 25% off, no codes to enter, automatic. Soviet Dawn and Tarot we're going to look at. So Soviet Dawn, Russian Civil War, 1918-1921. This is a um, deluxe, all right, updated edition of um, Darren Leveloff's fantastic states of siege style game right nice components um full mounted map cards are beautiful you get, oh oh i'm sorry my apologies let me pull this up my apologies sorry guys get all excited talking about it so again you see the cover there components full mounted map th thick counters pre-rounded cards are beautiful and nice linen finish on them components are out of, like 10 out of 10 absolutely um if you you know, the game is States of Siege. It has lots of good detail. Not too much. It's not It's not super in-depth. I think there's plenty there. And there's, I mean, there's plenty there to pick up. Not going to be a cheap game, but with a discount, I think you're looking at a reasonable price for sure. Definitely recommend this one. Um, next is Tarawa 1943. Um, this is, I don't know if the designer is just the guys over there at Worthington. Um, but this is based on the system is, um, Marie Suckling with his Chancellorsville system, which by the way, I believe it's one of the ones Chancellorsville 1862 is one of the ones on sale. Assuming it's in stock here. I'm not checking all these games for you guys. You guys can figure out yourself. Um, uh, but really tough one, but really good one. I don't have a full review of this one. I think I only have an unboxing, I'm a recon, but really enjoy it. You have, um, your units on the map here. Oh, there's not any. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Um, you you have cubes, right? So that's represented by like the different um, marine divisions, or regiments. Excuse me, are out here, and you have little cubes. And now, if you look, they're kind of cool cubes like this. They're like long cubes, right? What it is though is each of these units, these formations, has cohesion. You keep track of their cohesion. You can see second marine regiment, right? Colonel David Shoup, first battalion, second battalion, third battalion has cohesion. So you have a cube on there. And as they're taking losses and they're taking actions, they're going to lose their cohesion, right? Anything from battle losses, um, using up uh, um, equipment, supplies, munitions, etc. Right? It's all kind of abstracted that way, but it works really well. Lots of dice. You can definitely be chucking dice. It's a lot of fun. Very hard, but I really like that one. 
So again, that is Terroir 1943 from Worthington. So, all right, now let's head over to Holland Spiel. Now they're doing their usual, which is the the sales should be starting the day this video is, is going live. So this video should be going live noon Central Standard Time in America um, on November 21st, which that's why like GMT, I guess you only have 12 hours left. So act fast. Um, Worthington, maybe through the end of the year, maybe. Um, definitely you have some time. Holland Spiel is just launching there literally the day this video is going up. Um, theirs is, they do a little different. They do basically, you get through December 4th. So you get a couple weeks and it's basically like $5 off MSRP. Now they're print on demand, so they can't do like a huge discount. It would, it wouldn't make sense for them. Um, but if your order, t order total before shipping is a hundred dollars, you can additional 10% off, you it automatically at checkout. So that's pretty nice, right? Like when for these, um, you want to support them directly, which I definitely recommend, um, you know, you want to give them money directly. I definitely support that from these smaller um, publishers. So what do they have? Tons of games, tons of games you're going to enjoy, tons of solitaire war games. A couple of them we can look at. Aurelian, Restore of the World. I got it over here. Just a wonderful game. Um, this is solitaire game, Elbow Holland. It is based or uses the three cup system that you may know from either... Um, I'm thinking of Agricola, right? Yeah, Last of the Britons, not Agricola the Farmer. Um, Agricola, Last of the Britons, or Charlemagne. I really liked Agricola. Kind of got bogged down a little bit with the battle system. It was a little fiddly, and just, but it didn't seem to add a whole lot, right? Just sort of line them up and start rolling dice. Rally and Restore the World eliminates that, streamlines that whole process. You still get the theme, the history. Plus, I mean, Aurelian, and let's face it, probably the most underrated. Roman Emperor, in my opinion. So beautiful components for print. It's print on demand. So, you know, you kind of get, you either really like them sometimes. Sometimes you're like, I don't know if I like these components. I enjoy them. I do think they do just fine. You can punch them out. You can just play. Map is simple, but really easy to read. No broad uh, picture of the map here. Let's go ahead. Go over to board game because I want you guys to see the map. Really in story of the world. Oh, man. Talk about it makes me want to play it. There it is. All right. Oh, no, I don't think there's going to be. There's that picture. Eh. Eh, these, I don't know. I don't know if I like these pictures per se. They just don't show up. There you go. Oh, it's from old uh, Robert Carroll. Old um, um, Kilroy. Kilroy was here. So head over to his. Head over to his. Uh, if you want. Oh, too big. All right. Anyway, pictures don't do it justice on here, folks. Trust me. Really good looking game. Um, not as good looking as, say, Stilico, um, but which, by the way, is another one I could recommend from Hollandspiel, um, Ray Daleski. But anyway, Herellian Restore of the World really just enjoys simple, easy, but you get very a lot of replayability. I mean, it's the type of game you feel like you just want to keep playing. So, all right, Herellian Restore of the World. Next one um, from Hollandspiel Escape from Hades. So, designed from Fred Manzo, developed by Herman Lutman, the evil genius himself. This is a solitaire. Um, this is a science fiction war game, pulpy, love it, love the theme, love the look of it. I mean, how can you not? Will Alambre, I believe, is the artist. Yep. Look at that. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong here. I know these pictures are tiny. I'm sorry, guys. I thought they would pop up bigger on the screen, but they are not popping up. But let's go. Escape from Hades. I have multiple videos on this one. That's the thing. I think most of these games, like I said, other than a couple, I have multiple videos on. So if you want to see playthroughs, reviews, check my past videos, just search the name or just go on YouTube and search the name. You're probably going to find a lot of good information. But oh, look at that. Look at that cover. You're going to love that cover. Oh, it's like a custom box or something. Hang on. Okay, there we go. We'll see the components. Rule book, full color, some nice components. Again, it's the. You know, you see it's like thick counters, uh, print on demand. If you love them, you love them. If you don't like them, it, too bad. Get the game anyway. It's a great game regardless. See, it has two maps you're playing on. It has the um, the surface and then the inside area. You're going in there basically trying to rescue the princess style. Again, it's very like pulpy 1950s science fiction. A lot of fun. That is Escape from Hades. Man. Okay, this one makes me want to play this one too. I mean, look at this. Look how cool that looks. Jeez. All right. Okay. And finally, we'll go ahead and look at decision games again. This isn't really a holiday sale, I guess, 
but I know they have their uh, the latest dispatch, which is like the I don't I don't think they mail it. I don't think I got one. So maybe they're done mailing them now. Maybe they went all digital. Join the 21st century. But anyway, their dispatch is like was like a newsletter they sent out, right? Well, there's a bunch of sales and stuff on here. I just want to show them off because why not? Some of them look pretty cool. Game edition for their magazine games, right? So for uh, Strategy and Tactics World of War. You receive a voucher for every one-year subscription or a larger $60 voucher for every two-year subscription, new ones. Um, and re renewals still receive a $25. That's not too bad. Okay, not bad. Um, let's see. So they get some vouchers. It's pretty cool. Magazine, well, like some subscription. D-Day series is on sale. And then for sure, so you said a bunch of D-Day at Omaha is currently out of stock, but other ones are on sale. Bargain bleeding camp played them, but one thing I want to mention for sure, Midway Solitaire is on sale for 59 bucks. Midway Solitaire, really enjoyed that one. Not perfect, mind you. Let's go ahead and look. Midway Solitaire, not perfect, mind you. But then again, what game is, right? And this is the new deluxe edition, right? This isn't the magazine one. This is the new deluxe edition. Nice cover there. Here's the mounted map. Good, good looking, right? I think it's a good looking game. Um, oh, maybe not like that. Actually, maybe. Look at that. Ooh, looks pretty nice. It does look nice. I'm telling you, looking at all these games makes me want to play them. So, really enjoy this one. No, it's it's more of a game than a simulation, but at the same time, solitaire. Not hard. Uh, medium, light medium weight, really. On the lighter end of medium, I would say. Um, but it's a... Um, Joseph Miranda design. So for the solitaire games for his, it's very procedural, right? But you follow the procedures, you're not going to have too much of a problem with it. So Midway Solitaire, definitely one I recommend. And also another one that I own and have covered with multiple videos, review and everything like that. So, okay, I think we have gone long enough. That is my uh, video on Wargame Publishers Holiday Sales for 2022, part one. Uh, there may or may not be a part two, part three, who knows? We'll just see how many other publishers launch sales. I expect more sales for the holidays here. I'm filming this November 20th, It'll be going up November 21st. Um, we still have Black Friday coming, which, you know, war game publishers aren't big on that specific day, of course, right? It's not brick and mortar style, go walk into a store. But thinking Cyber Monday and thinking as you get, you know, past Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then before Christmas, hopefully in there, we'll get some more from, I don't know, say... Revolution Games, DVG, hmm, DVG, I got Spruance Leader on the table right now, so anyway, all right, well, thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did and you made it this far, please give the video a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, comment below, let me know what you think, and let me know what games you're looking to pick up this holiday season, so until next everybody, later.